Hey guys, it's me Catherine and today I am here to talk to you about The Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hamer. This story is about an eight year old girl who goes missing and it was nothing like I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a kind of a race against the clock to find Carmel before she turns up dead in a ditch. But what it's actually about is how two people cope with this sudden change in their life. It's told from two perspectives. We get Carmel's perspective and her mum Beth's perspective and, and we follow both of them as they try to adjust and cope with this new life that they've suddenly had thrust upon them and I really really enjoyed it. It was also though really really frustrating because you get both sides of the story there's things you know that the other character doesn't so you really want to tell Beth, Carmel's mum, that you know where her daughter is, you know where she is and you know that for the moment she is safe, you know who she's with and obviously you want to tell her because obviously Beth's really struggling with the loss of her daughter and blaming herself and you want to tell her that it's okay. Carmel is alive and well and, and you know where she is and likewise when Carmel's missing her mum, you want to tell her that her mum's doing fine, her mum's okay and she's still looking for her. And it that part was so frustrating. But that that is what made me keep reading because you want to know if they eventually find each other because it was just so frustrating that you could see these two sides of the story but you couldn't put them together, you couldn't help them reunite. So you're just flicking through the pages hoping that eventually they become reunited and it was just, I think it was just a really well executed story and the writing itself as well was really, I really enjoyed Kate's writing style as well. The way she describes certain feelings, certain atmospheres, just the way she describes them, it was just, just in a way that I really, really liked. So this one, for whatever reason, Beth has purchased a biology book and she's been reading through it and there's this one description she has here about um, trying to find Carmel and it says on a good day I felt I was nearing some mystery of human existence eyes hands feet womb fingernails as if Carmel had not been taken but had shattered apart into fragments an explosion of particles fine like glass and I could somehow learn to knit her back together again I could feel her textures under my fingers, the, th the slide of my thumb across a clean curl, the crispy skin of a healing cut, bone at the ankle, raw and knobbly. And I just think that was a really... Because obviously Beth's feeling a lot of things because she's missing a daughter and she wants to find her so much that she kind of sees her everywhere. She can see her and feel her in whatever she's doing and I just thought that description was just... I just really liked it. And there's this one where she's basically just, she's just describing a draft through the house but she makes it sound like so much more. There must be an open window somewhere. Coats hanging by the stairs stir like restless spirits wear them. The yellow leaves of the phone book that the phone sits on riffle open and closed enough to make me worry the ringing phone will be pitched to the floor. And I just think that the way she writes and the way she describes certain feelings are just really interesting to me and I just really, really enjoyed it. And I think I would think I would definitely pick up any other books that Kate Hamer comes out with. Definitely on my automatic author buy list after this. So that was The Girl in the Red Coat, guys. If any of you have read it, let me know in the comments what you thought about it and whether you're thinking about picking it up if you haven't already read it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!